What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite heavy guns in all of Fault 76. We have the Pepper Shaker. Starting off over the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary Pepper Shaker that we're using for the video, and we will be using a full health and a low health build. But the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has a plus 25% to damage while aiming, and it also has a 25% less VATS action points cost. Over in the mods, we're using the dual barrel, laser magazine, gunner sight, and the default appearance. Now over in the demonstrations, with our all-powerful Pepper Shaker builds, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished. We're first gonna start off with the full health build, then we'll come back through with the bloody build. Let me just uh, run on in here real quick, and just, uh, there we go, fantastic, fantastic. That did nothing, you just suicide yourself for no reason, sir. Goodbye now. Here we go, let me just uh, cripple this guy and destroy him, fantastic. Now this weapon is really considered a crippler, but you can also do a ton of damage. There we go, fantastic. There we go, get out of here you stupid floater. Let me see if I can cripple this dude's leg real quick. Eh, eh, wait, 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 wait. Well something's crippled or he's bleeding. There, look at him, look at him. He's all wobbling around now, you stupid super mean. Now eat my bullets. Fantastic. What about this guy over here? We're gonna give him the face shots real quick. 34s all day. What about some vats hits? Can we do some vats hits with this? Oh, super mutant. Oh, look at you. You're the unlucky vats hit guy. Here we go. We hit a 79, then 33, 33, 33. Hello, warlord. Would you like to feel the power of the pepper shaker? Fantastic. And since this is a shoddy, the closer you are, the more damage you're going to do. Watch this. From back here, 17s. There we go. 17s still. Well, it looked like it didn't really affect much. Here we go. Let's try it again. 17s, 20s, not bad. Get a little bit of face shot there, 39s. Honestly, you could probably shoot this at any distance, but I do recommend being really close with it because it is a shoddy. Making your way back through the West Tech Research Center, but this time we are our bloody build. And here's our first target. Where are you going, sir? You're my first target. Get over here. There we go. Look at that. And he's dead instantly. What about you, suicider? Also dead instantly. Uh oh, we got a guy back here. Let me just get him in the legs real quick. Now we're gonna make sure he's crippled and stuff. There we go. Oh, cripple board now, aren't you? There we go. Get this stupid hound. Oh, oh, oh. Get this floater, too. Fantastic. That is a ton of damage. Let me just destroy this guy's face real quick. Look at that. 42s all day. Not bad at all. What about this guy? Oh, oh. We got some 43s and 49s in there. Still a ton of damage with this heavy gun. What about this guy? And the crippled one is dead now. Uh, I do not apologize for that whatsoever. We've got ourselves a three-star legendary. Here we go. There we go. 51s all day to the face. And he is dead. A regenerating T45 left leg. How embarrassing. Hello, guys. Would you like to feel the power of the bloody pepper shaker? Huh? Huh? There we go. All day. All day, brotherins. Now, I realize you just watched me murder all your friends. But if you put down the gun, we can actually be friends. I have some coffee. We have some, uh... Well, we got some coffee at the house if you want some. I drink it all the time. It's fantastic. It gives me a ton of energy. You want some? You want some coffee? No? Okay, well, goodbye now. There we go. Get on out of here. Oh, and you too, you stupid communist robot. Get on out of here. The next target on our list to fill the wrath of the full health pepper shaker build is the one. The only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Bruce. We're going to start by crippling this boy real quick. There we go. And just like that, Bruce is crippled, and he can do absolutely nothing to me now. We're going to get a little bit closer to him, and then we're going to obliterate this face of his. There we go. There, Sit down, Bruce. Sit down. Chill out, boy. There we go. Fantastic. And just like that, Bruce's head is now floating in the pond. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth, but this time it's Bruce's partner in crime. We have Dick, the level 100 glowing behemoth. Oh, Dick, all wiki wiki. There we go. Fantastic. We're gonna shoot you in the kneecaps real quick. There we go. He's done crippled just like Bruce. Now we're gonna get a little bit closer to him. Reload because I definitely need to. And now we're gonna destroy this dude's face. There we go. Uh, Dick, Dick, chill out. Come on, man. Chill out. I'm trying to shoot. There we go. Fantastic. And just like Bruce, Dick's head is also floating in the water. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myla Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabby Patties. Oh, oh, I'm getting shot with her poison, so let me just cripple her legs real quick. There we go. What are you going to do now, Mrs. Queen, huh? Huh? You going to send your guys after me? Well, what if I destroy these guys also? There we go. Get out of here, you stupid Myrlurks. There we go. There we go. Now we're just going to get close to this Mrs. Krabby Patties real quick. Is that all you can do? Well, let me just uh, heal myself now, you stupid freak. And stop shooting me with all that poison. My God. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. 
Oh, he's a legendary too. Get out of the way, you stupid legendary. There we go. Fantastic. And with the quad, we can go all... Well, well, sorry. With the quad, we can go all day. After searching far and wide, we found ourselves another level 100 Myrlet Queen. And this one goes by the name Nancy. And look at her. She's just like, what's up? What's up? She's waiting for anything and everything to come at her. Well, we're going to start by crippling her legs. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. She's looking at me. She's looking at me. And we do got to be careful because I am a bloody build and that poison can kill me. But my God, she's taking these hits like no other. Let me just get close to her now and hopefully I don't get hit with that poison. There we go. We're just going to do a little run around. Oh, God. Oh, God. She's standing back up. Chill out. Chill out. Let me just destroy that face of yours. Fantastic. There we go. Destroy those legs because that's apparently where we're going to do the most amount of damage to her. There we go. There we go. Just get, get away from me. I want to hit your legs, not your shell. Fantastic. Now we're going to get the face shots on her. Absolutely amazing. And just like that, our Myler Queen is no more. Over in the build, these are the base stats that make up my in-game full health pepper shaker build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game full health pepper shaker build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all camps, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have all the heavy gunner and shotgunner cards at 2 stars to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. Over in perception, we have 4, and this one can have skeet shooter at 3 stars. Your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. We have concentrated fire at 1 star. Star. That's now target slims. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have nine, and this one can have five perfect three stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at two stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have life giver at three stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. Over in charisma, we have six, and this one can have filled surgeon at one star. Stim packs and radway will now work much more quickly. We have strange in numbers at one star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make a target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 9, and this one can have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Batteries included at 3 stars. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 90% less. We have First Aid at 3 stars. Stim Packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 14, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Enforcer at 3 stars. Your Shotguns gain a 15% Stagger Chance and a 30% Chance to Cripple Limb. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Better Criticals at 1 star. Vats Criticals now do plus 50% of damage. We have One Gun Army at 3 stars. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain a 18% chance to Deflect back semi for enemies range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak at 3 stars. The negative effects for mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads, and Radway right will never cure your mutations. Now, over in the Bloody build, these are the base stats that make up our in game Bloody Pepper Shaker build. So, if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in game Bloody Pepper Shaker build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this is going to have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kins, including impacts are reduced by 90%. We of course have all the heavy gunner cards and shotgunner cards at 2 stars to get the maximum damage out of this build. Over in perception we have 4 and this one can have skeet shooter at 3 stars. Your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. We have concentrated fire at 1 star. Vats now target slims. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance we have 9 and this one can have 5 proof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have life giver at 1 star. Gain a total plus 15 to your maximum health. We have Ken Fiend at 1 star. Any Kims you take lasts 30% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the Rads, the greater the Strength, a max plus 5 to Strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Field Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 9, and this one can have Stabilize 
Rise at 3 stars. In power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have batteries included at 3 stars. Energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. We have nerd rays at 3 stars. While both 20% health gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in agility, we have 14 and this one can have action boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have enforcer at 3 stars. Your shotguns gain a 50% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple him. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% to bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 1 star. Bats criticals now do a plus 50% to damage. We have one gun army at 3 stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have class freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and radway will never cure your mutations. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game builds. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out. Strength maxed out. Luck maxed out. Electrical absorption at 1 star. And power sprinter at 1 star. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over the armor, what we're using is my full set of T65 Overeaters power armor. And the reason we go with Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. And if you eat a perfect bubble gum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, scuzz skin, and speed demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, simple firm flower tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, blight soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, carrot soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst meters do not increase. Over in our kim buffs, we're using overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this, and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best heavy guns in all of Fallout 76, the Gauss minigun. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it to the screen right now you see that. That is my Gauss minigun video.